Hey, welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today, we're doing some chicken and waffles. Debone them real Find that bone. Slice into that meat. Make sure you got a decently sharp knife. And we're just going to work around that bone there. And it, it depends on you how clean you want to get and how close you want to get to that bone. Me, I want to save as much as that meat to eat as I possibly can. Now, don't get me wrong, I do use my bones for chicken stock. And I have a collection in my freezer. But that's pretty clean, don't you think? And I'm going to leave the skin on because I like it. You can buy boneless, skinless chicken thighs at the grocery store. I like skin on. And, uh, and you can also do this with chicken breasts. Some people might prefer that. I like dark meat. So for my chicken and waffles. We definitely gonna do it uh, with the chicken thighs. And it's gonna be a quick and easy meal pretty much. Like I said I'm gonna brine these and uh, let them sit overnight. Just salt and sugar, about a half a cup of salt and a half a cup of sugar. I'm going to go half and half. I don't want it real sweet. Sometimes I do a cup of sugar and you can, you can taste the sweetness in the meat. It's not bad, but today... I want my chicken to be savory. So, with that said, and my chicken deboned, I'm gonna start our brining process. All right, there we go. Boneless chicken thighs. Let's get started on the brine. sugar All right, drop a chicken in. I got this chicken on medium low. I'm going to bring it up 
to medium but I don't want to rush it although I do want to get some good color on it so for right now we're leaving it at medium low and let this go for a couple of minutes may let it go just as it is it seems to be cooking pretty good so let's see how it turns out All right, I had let that go for eight minutes. I got the color that I wanted. So I flipped it over, We're letting this go for another eight minutes or so. And we'll check it for doneness. And we'll get on our waffles. All right. I'll drain these pieces. Looking good. This is this one here. And add in our last batch. Now if you notice that I have more pieces than I originally when I deboned them. I cut these in half because uh, well I want them to cook faster and well don't need a whole thigh sitting up there big old piece trying to eat a meal eat a half at a time and see how it goes. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Crispy skin. The brine is definitely coming through. Flavor is phenomenal. And I know these waffles. Mm, yes. Combination of two. Mm. Sweet and savory. I'm loving it. Sorry for talking with my mouth full, but good stuff. I like this a lot. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend about me. Leave me a comment. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.